Um, you said before about how you've uh, instilled your principles in your children. Do you think that's one of the main reasons for your son Christopher's boxing success? It's going to be the reason why he actually makes the world champion. Hmm. You know, a man who has this type of truth instilled him, in him, he's conditioned with this type of truth, is a very difficult man to beat. Because you're not just fighting a boxer. You're not fighting a fighter. You're not fighting a man, you're fighting an ideal, you know? Uh, there's, an, there's a grace he's trying to actually achieve to stand as a warrior. This is an ideal. <laughs> Tough to beat the man with this type of ideal. Tough to beat that man. You hear about all these these few, sorry, great men. What makes them great? Ideal. It's not, like, it's not that they're trying to replicate somebody else. They see a truth which is not really achievable. Or you have to stand in the face of overwhelming odds in order to achieve this ideal, what you see to be right. This is what makes great men, which is why I say it's consideration and kindness. You know, you're reaching for something. Now this is the right way, I've got to do this. <laughs> You'll go out on a limb because no one's coming with you when you want to enact a great act or uh, a consideration. Mandela, think of what he was reaching for freedom of his people or people of his own kind of his race 27 years in prison for this yeah you know the masses can't come along because they're taught listen you know if i do that i can't spend that time in prison i gotta live hmm? gandhi we know of gandhi yes Martin Luther King. I want to be clever with this because I don't want to get hurt because I'm not an idiot. And I like, no, sorry, I love, let me rephrase that. I adore this life, it's great. Bubble gum, toothpaste, Coca-Cola, M&Ms, discotheques. your children, motor cars, books, Oxford University, Cambridge University, boxing, ice skating, football, Kuala Lumpur, Angola, tough place but Angola, Nigeria, Miami, South Beach, Coconut Grove, New York City, Manhattan, Male strippers, female strippers, huh? You know, the dance, the nightclubs, life. You know, sometimes I got into a taxi the other day, taxi driver said, this, this weather, you know what, it's just so crap. I said, hold on a minute, if you put your hand through the, the window, feel it, it's rain on your, it's a rain on your hand. That means it's rain, it's got a name, it's wet, you can feel it on your hand. If that is not the jackpot, I don't know what is. He said, yeah, you're right, that's it. Life, appreciation, perspective, perspective. Ah, look at my situation. You'd say it's horrible. Yet, if you have the right perspective, perhaps it's not. They've put me through this industrial trashing machine and I've come through the other end. As I say, calm, gentle and true. If they hadn't done that, I wouldn't know the type of metal that I have. 
Huh, I've got to have some metal to have put up with what they've done, huh? Oh, come on. If I smoke cigars, I deserve a cigar. Huh? Perspective. How many of you could have gone through what I've gone through and come out the other end focused? Not on drugs, not being angry, but still focused. It's like taking a beating in a fight. When you take a beating in a fight, you win the hearts of the people if you take it like a man and on your shield. The guys who pretend they've twisted their ankle and go out of the fight, the people know they jacked. They coward. When a man takes a beating and takes it like a man and then wins or loses with a dignity, he wins the hearts of the people. Yes?